At the beginning of this year, I did a video showcasing the installation of my Chalet Connect door lock on my house and then integrating that with my Unify G4 Pro doorbell and its newest fingerprint sensor feature that was updated, which was really nice. And I showed that I could trigger a webhook with my fingerprint to go ahead and unlock my front door. Now it's been great, but there were a few things that I mentioned that I didn't like about it. One, webhooks are not the most secure method of triggering automations. And two, it was relatively slow. It could take anywhere from five to 15 seconds for it to trigger that webhook. So I've been trying to find a solution as a way to trigger it directly. Now I finally found a way to do this directly within Home Assistant using the Unify Access integration and setting all of that up. So I wanted to show you how I've got that done, how I got it working, and how much quicker it is for unlocking the front door. I've been using this now for the past two or three weeks and it has been so much better. I, I basically never punch the code in onto my door anymore. This just makes my life a lot easier and I'm really happy with the change. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hop into my home assistant and I'm gonna show you what we had to do with the automation. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have the Unify Protect integration and add-on done and you wanna be able to make sure that you can see your G4 doorbell on here. Um, this is gonna be really important because we need the sensors and the entities that are tied to this device in order to trigger our automation. So make sure that you have that set up and ready to go. And now we're gonna go ahead and go to our automations and we're gonna go to my automation that I have already set up, fingerprint unlock front door. Now the webhook one, I have disabled that so that we don't have to deal with it. And then this is the new one. So our trigger is a state change trigger and the entity ID is the event front door fingerprint. So that is our initial trigger. And then we have an and if, and what this and if is doing is it's gonna say if that fingerprint is identifiable by Unify, it's gonna go ahead and do the final action. And what this means is that anybody that you add into your Unify as a user with a fingerprint is going to trigger this Action. So this can be extremely handy if you wanna go ahead and add other people into your Unify access in order to be able to access your house with just their fingerprint. You would have to do the whole setup like we did in the previous video. If you wanna know how to set up those fingerprints, I will show you when we go downstairs, I can go ahead and show you again. Um, but it is a relatively simple process, but this is gonna do anybody. Now, I did see some comments on some Reddit threads where people were making it so that it only did it for particular users and they would basically end up syncing their Unify user and their Home Assistant user. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to get that portion working. So I'm just doing it this way. I'm the only user that's currently set up in my Unify environment right now. So it's not really a big deal. Now, speaking about that, if we go ahead and go into my Unify, we can see that I do have my fingerprints assigned to me. So I actually have two fingerprints done. I have my right thumb and my left thumb set as separate ones. So they are linked up to me so I can go ahead and use either thumb, whichever one is available. Sometimes I'm carrying stuff in my right hand, wanna be able to use my left thumb. So I've got those both set up. So anybody that is listed under a fingerprint and has a name assigned to them in your Unify Protect is going to allow you to trigger this automation. And then our final thing is the action. And the action is just, I've selected my deadbolt and then I have slotted the action to unlock it. I don't need the action as a toggle because to lock the front door, you just press the Schlage logo at the top of the lock. So I just need the fingerprints to only unlock the front door. And that's how I have it set up. I will put a link to the and if statement here to make it really easy for you to set up. And now let's go ahead and go down to the lock. I'm gonna show you how to add a fingerprint if you've never done that before. And then I'm gonna show you how much quicker this automation now is compared to how it was previously. So let's go ahead and do that. So what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and add our fingerprint. So we're gonna to go to our Unify Protect. We're gonna to go to our device here. We're gonna to go to our settings. We're gonna go down to fingerprints and we're gonna do add new fingerprint. And we're just gonna go ahead and we're going to scan our finger. And just like with when you do your phone fingerprints, you're gonna put your finger on it a whole bunch of times. 
And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna assign that to a user. And here you can go ahead and add a new user, which is extremely handy. We're gonna go ahead and select me and I'm gonna press add. So now I've got three fingerprints that I can go ahead and use. And now we can see how quickly this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock the front door first. So I'll put the camera a little closer so we can go ahead and see. I'm gonna go ahead and do my fingerprint here. There we go. And it is extremely quick compared to how it used to be. And yeah, I'm, I'm extremely happy with how this is working. I do eventually want to try to experiment a little bit more with what I mentioned before, where there was a couple people talking about linking their Home Assistant users with their Unify Protect users and making so that maybe only particular users that you have set up and have mentioned in the automation are able to unlock the door. I don't really need that to happen, but it would be fun to kind of play around and get a little bit more granular. But as it's working right now, it works fantastic. If I wanna go ahead and add my parents as users in Unify, it's extremely easy as I showed how to do that with the adding the fingerprints. You just have to create a user first and then add their fingerprints super, super quick at the doorbell and then they can go ahead and unlock the door. So it's very simple. Uh, I also use Keymaster to handle all of my door codes and I can make those temporary and all that kind of stuff. So that's been pretty handy as well. If you do want me to do a video on Keymaster, please let me know down in the comment section below. I'd be happy to do one uh, if people are interested in such a video. But with all that said, I really do hope you found this video helpful. And if not, I at least hope you found it interesting. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. If you like, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, you can leave those down in the comment section below or you can join our Discord where we can have a little bit more of a back and forth, talk a little bit more about stuff and maybe share some more content and ideas, which is really great. Big thanks to my patron sponsors and big thanks to you for watching to the end of this video. If you do wanna watch any other videos relating to Home Assistant or any of the stuff I'm doing with Home Assistant, you can go ahead and check out the playlist right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next time.